Welcome back to KTAB for you. We're celebrating Abilene Gibbs with the Abilene Cultural Affairs Council, and we've got to talk about some big things that are happening this summer, like the 2024 Cult Children's Art and Literacy Festival. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any bigger than the calf, yes. and I'm with uh, Pam Tiffin and Maddie Melbourne, and I was talking to Pam earlier. I can remember back when Art Walk on, uh, in June was just for children, and out of that, the calf has exploded. It's really a huge event. It, it's massive. Yeah, it's. Um, we have three full days of calf plus the Thursday event, um, including a group day. We have children from all over the U.S. We have 21 states from last year, including Mexico, um, and we had over 5,000 people. And Pam, I think a lot of people here in the big country may take uh, all the arts that we have in town and the calf for granted because it's ours. But people come from everywhere. Oh, they do. They come and they're always so surprised. It, it always, we all know about the calf. And so when somebody from out of town goes, what are you talking about? It always just shocks us. But as soon as they hear about it, they're signing up. And Maddie, you were talking about it being three full days. The parents have trouble keeping up, but uh, I want to talk about how to get tickets because those are scarce. And what's the best way right now? I think online. Online is the best way to do it. Yes, it, we have it all over our shirts. It's abilenecalf.org. We have the, all of the tickets there. And there's so many different events, Pam, uh, that, that expose these children to so much creative uh, things. I imagine they talk about it year-round, and there's different packages for, uh, to suit your needs as far as your family. Oh, yes, and they, they go through and they hear people read the books, and then these kids are wanting those books, and they take them home, and we have parents all the time tell us that's what they want to do that whole night. And you know, one of the things that's unique about it, it's not just an uh, arts and literacy festival for kids, the author comes. Yes. Yes, the author comes. We have Lewin fan. Excuse me, Lewin fam coming this year, and uh, she comes and sees all of our parades, all of the readings, and you get to have book signings with her. Yeah. It's kind of like having a uh, concert with the musician that's singing his own songs or hers. Oh, that is so true. And you get to see their drawing that they did in a 2D. It made into a 3D sculpture, and not many wow. illustrators get that. Talk one more time about the parade uh, for folks that uh, are not familiar with it. The parade is going to be the Thursday of CAF, the 13th. Yes, we're super excited about it. And it's going to be at 5.30. This year it's going to go down Pine Street. Oh, all right. Yes. And yes. the storybook characters are in costume. Oh, yes. And it's quite, a, quite an event yes. for sure. All right, the CAF coming up uh, downtown Abilene, June 13th through the 16th. And you can save on the festival passes if you buy by midnight. Of May 15th. So you better go on and get your passes now because they all sell out. They're flying. And, and no, begging, no begging allowed. Once they sell out, <laughs> it's over. But Maddie, Pam, thank y'all so much. Thank you.